name is Marie Matheson and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I drive my car. This has easily been the most requested and or suggested video that I've had ever since opening up the YouTube channel. So before we go into the video, I just want to kind of give you a little bit of background when it came to getting my driver's license and when it came to learning how to drive. So I got my learner's license at the same time as all the kids in my class did at the age of 15. I was delayed getting my license, but I was lucky enough that my parents have always treated me just like any other average kid. And they allowed me to drive their vehicles even though I didn't have any pedal extensions. I am grateful to be growing up in the small towns that I did. So it wasn't like I was driving in the city or driving on the highway. I was just driving around the small towns or the back roads. And uh, either way, I was just grateful that I was able to. I'm just gonna demonstrate how I drove my average sized parents cars when I was a teenager. As you can see, I can't see over the steering wheel right now. Like I can't see over the dashboard and I can't really reach the pedals very well. Pretend like my pedal extensions aren't there because I just don't wanna take them out because I'm being lazy. So I would put the seat all the way back and sit at the very edge of the seat. Just start the car. And I would be able to drive this way. I can reach the pedals and I would just pull myself up and use this leg to like lift myself a little bit and hold myself up with the steering wheel. So I would drive kilometers or miles doing it this way. And I was just so grateful, not only that my parents allowed me to do this to get a little bit of practice, but I was just determined no matter what that I was going to drive. So it wasn't until I was 17, 18 years old where my auntie actually ordered me these exact pedal extensions online. I don't know where she ordered them from exactly, but I'm just so grateful for my auntie and uncle because not only did they buy me these pedal extensions, but they also sold me a car for really cheap. And I was just so grateful because that's how I ended up driving. That's how I ended up practicing and being able to get my license. And without them, I'm sure that it would have been years and years later until I actually got my driver's license. So as you see with the pedal extensions in there, I clearly cannot drive the car just with the extension. So I got a booster seat back when I got my license. So again, I was 17, 18, I'm 31 years old now. So these are the exact same pedals here that I got when I was 17, 18 years old. You're gonna see that they're pretty dirty. I was like, should I wash them? But I'm like, I didn't wanna wash it. I haven't washed them in the 15-ish years. I mean, I vacuumed out my car. So <laughs> that was like the preparation for this video because I also don't do that very often. So this is the booster seat that I got when I got my license. And I have, let's say, fluctuated my weight often throughout the years. And if you notice, it's kind of a little bit bent because it has actually grown with me. Uh, I haven't had to get new booster seats the bigger I've gotten because it just was gradual. So it just kind of grew with my hips and grew with my waist. I don't just use this booster seat because it doesn't position me properly. I always put towels or sweaters underneath of the booster seat to basically lift me up so it positions me in a perfect way. Not the most elegant setup I have, but at the same time it works for me as long as it's safe and it's effective then I'm good for it. So when I put the towels down, I put them as far back as possible and push it. In order to get into the car, I usually put my foot here and I just jump in. I don't sit straight. I don't sit like this when I drive it. I have never analyzed the way I drive until right now, so I feel a little bit awkward, but like, I don't drive like that. I put one leg <laughs> over this a little bit. I don't know why I do that exactly. I think it's just comfort, but, and this is how I drive. So a couple things about my pedals. With these pedals and with this type of setup, I have driven multiple different cars, vans, trucks, SUVs. I've driven multiple different types of vehicles. My pedals fit in almost any vehicle, but the newest vehicles, for some reason, they typically don't fit as well. Excuse the mess uh, when it comes to this close up, but I just wanted to show you a closer up view of my actual pedals. Uh, the gas pedal, like I said, was a little bit more challenging when it comes to fitting into newer cars because the back of the pedals in the newer cars 
have this smooth surface on it, so it doesn't clamp very well. But this here is clamped very well to this plastic, and because of it kind of catching here at the lip, it doesn't slide up and down. That being said, when I bought this car in 2018, I specifically looked for a car that would fit my pedals perfectly. I don't do very much maintenance with them. Every few months, usually like once a season, I just make sure that it's tight. But honestly, I am so happy with them in this car because it's just worry free for me. The last thing I'll say, I am lucky because they actually come out pretty easy. I don't want to take them out, which is why I didn't take them out for this video. So I don't have anything else to talk about when it comes to my pedals or how I drive. I will run a couple clips of me actually driving. If you have any ideas of any videos that you want to see from me in the future, go ahead and comment it below. I just have to say I really appreciate your support and I'll go ahead and see you next week. everything in my purse. You hear it just couple all over. Mm -hmm. And the, your straw wrapper fell in there so it's right in the view. You get up there and hit the red. Oh, you can't reach it anyways. I can't reach anything. If I, I drop it, it's gonna fall.